it's this versus this one. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a test. I have two radiators in my water cooling system. I have two 3090s and a CPU to 2700X running on that same water cooling. And I'm hoping to improve my temperatures by just swapping out the other radiator. My other radiator is 60 mil 360 long and then the other one is 28 mil 360 long. So I'm hoping to improve the temperatures with just upgrading that one radiator to thicker model of it. It's a simple test. Hopefully this will help you out understanding whether there's a big impact between the 28 mil and the 60 mil. Of course, every single system is different. So there might be some variation and you can't take these numbers for exact and it's not really a, you know, perfect environment, to be honest. I'm swapping one out of two. You might get better results if you swap from a system that only has one radiator. So just keep that in mind. If we go into the current temperatures, so as you can see, I've stopped my rendering here. I was using Blender for rendering. And this is the Zotac and it's running pretty much 50 Celsius for the core and then 64 for the memory. And this is the Palette 3090. Before I started playing around with it, it was 60 Celsius and then 70 Celsius for the memory. So it runs a little bit hotter than the Zotac. I also have the CPU, which is also connected to the custom loop, and that's running approximately at 60 Celsius. Hopefully I can see an improvement of maybe four degrees. I'm hoping for four on all of these, but let's see how that goes. All right, so next step for me is to do the actual component swap. See you on the other side. I have a little bit of a hacky situation open. There's liquid still inside, so Let's hope nothing breaks. <laughs> All right, let's continue the swap. All right, so the results are in. The pallet core, the improvement is 4.4 Celsius. For the memory, it's six Celsius. For the Zotac, the core was improved by 3.4 Celsius. And for the memory, it was six Celsius improvement. The CPU was improved by three Celsius. So, you know. I was aiming for four Celsius and I think I got what I wanted. Um, keep in mind that I have two radiators. So I had, I already have one 60 mil radiator inside. So now I have two. So if you only are buying one radiator or you only have one radiator that you're upgrading, you should see a bigger improvement in these numbers. Do I think it's worth the upgrade? 70 euros worth of difference between these two 28 mil and 60 mil so i definitely think it's worth it because i've already invested so much money into the cards so hopefully this will give me a longer lifespan for the cards and that way i'll be getting my money back basically also what i realized was that the higher the temperatures the bigger the drop so say if you're gonna be doing a lot of mining or whatever it should be even higher you should be seeing up to 10 celsius of drop with the 60 mil radiator. Hopefully that will give me a lot longer lifespan for the cards and you know, I'm actually saving money by investing my money into the bigger radiator rather than the smaller one. Keep in mind that the Celsius outside is right now a few Celsius higher. So that, that might have a negative impact on the improvements. So these might actually be higher because it's few Celsius warmer outside and that warm might be coming into the, this room. I don't have an exact uh, temperature uh, tester or whatever inside. So, you know, keep these in mind. These are not exact numbers. This is not a perfect test setup or whatever, but hopefully this will give you a little bit of understanding of what you're dealing with here between the 28 and the 60 mil. I hope this helps you. I'll put the description of my computer down into the description so you understand what kind of environment we're talking about inside the case. All right, that's it. Have a good day. See ya.